have to say, after watching Blake, you made me very nervous. I nearly ran away. Why? I think I own a pair of those things, actually. Oh. Well, that's good to well, know. I think I've at least worn them once. Uh-huh. Well, they're, they're good looking. There's <laughs> nothing wrong with them. Um, it's so nice to meet you. We've never met. You've worked with uh, Portia before. Yeah. Uh, in a film, right? Yeah, I, I worked with Portia in, uh, it was like 2003, in Australia with a movie with, uh, about Frank Sinatra. Yeah, we, we watched the film, we loved the film, and, uh, and Portia said, oh, I know him, I've worked with him before. It's a great film. Before we talk about the film, though, it's tradition, this is your first time on the show, so we show a shirtless photo, <laughs> and we found one from that film, so we just <laughs> have to show, this, it's just a, a mandatory. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. That that's, looks like what Blake was just selling. Yes, that's why. That's what you're talking about. You Thank God that. it was from like years and years ago. You wouldn't want to see one from last year. Yeah. Anyway, that we got that out of the way. It's a tradition, and I have to do it under uh, law. Um, <laughs> so, so let's talk about uh, the film. Let's talk about Boy Erased. It's yeah. a it's a uh, an important film for people to see for many reasons. Uh, but explain why. Well, it, it's based on a memoir by Garrett Conley, and and uh, he, he basically was viciously outed at college as gay, and his, his dad was a Baptist minister. He, he grew up in Arkansas in a Baptist family. And their solution was that they thought uh, homosexuality was, was uh, a sin and that it was a choice, and that you could go to a camp to be fixed. They, they sent him to a conversion therapy camp. And it's a story of how he got there, his time there, and particularly his relationship with his parents and how, how that's evolved since. Yeah, and how did you hear about the story? A producer gave me the book, and I, as a child, was like terrified of being sent away from my parents to an institution. I'd watched this TV show in Australia called Prisoner at way too young an age, and I was terrified that I was going to go to prison. So I grew up with this fascination of prisons. I went into the book thinking, oh, I'm going to learn about this type of religious prison. And I came out of it with this feeling of this, this like, story of love of this family who uh, it was more complicated than just some sort of vicious facility. They actually sent him there out of love. And they realised that what they thought they were doing to help him was actually hurting him. So yeah. I, I read the book for different reasons and I wanted to make the movie. Yeah, well, it, and it's great. I'm glad you did. And you worked with, I mean, what a great cast. You have Nicole and you have uh, Russell Crowe and you have... It's just about all Australians. <laughs> yeah. was, was there a reason for that? Yeah, you just walk down the street and you're like... <laughs> you. Nicole, you home? What, what, what are you doing? Are you free? Um, th they were the faces that leapt off the family photo album when I asked Garrett to see photos from that time. And I was like, oh, no, I'm going to have to reach out to Russell and Nicole. And you've got to understand, growing up as an actor in Australia, they were my heroes. You know, um, I know that you had Nicole on the show another, like, last week. Um, and that photo that you showed, I watched and I had a crush on her during that period. So <laughs> imagine going to work thinking, now I have to be your director. Right. But you don't have red hair anymore and it's not curly, you know. Then were you disappointed? I was very disappointed. Yeah. <laughs> Well, the film is great, and uh, I, I'm really, really uh, hoping that everyone sees it because it's important. And it's, it's. Uh, and I said this to Nicole. It's, it's scary that this is still legal in 36 states that that uh, this can happen, and people think that there's, you know, that it's a choice. So yeah, it's very much still alive. In fact, this is the 50 bills for 50 states pin, which I brought one for you as well. Oh, thank you. Um, and it's, it's uh, very much a thing. I was shocked to learn that it still exists and. It's still happening in Australia and, and the United States, and I really do think that it, it needs to stop. Yeah. Well, thank you for being here. Thank you for making this film, and it is called Boy Erased. It's in theaters now. We'll be right back.